So this is going to be a first part series in something called my fire alarm review, basically. So basically, I review a random fire alarm device into as much detail as I can go, and we go from there, basically. So, but first, before we get started, I'm joined by... Go PJ. And... Yep, Go PJ and High Smart Alarms are going to join us, so... So, right here, if you, this is my FCI MS2, which you can kind of see MS2 right there. This is a new unbox device, and here's the box, and it also came with a key. This is a FCI PK625 key, so if you get this device new unbox, it comes with a key, so and if we open it, we basically see the device itself. In, in this packet right here, you'll see this is a brake rod, and inside there are screws, which I can take out real quickly, so nothing fancy there. And the key also came in this packet, as a matter of fact, as well. Um, I can also show you how to insert the brake rod. Um, I'll set this aside. And we'll get into the device. the device. FCI MS2. Here's the back. Here's the terminal block. And the switch. You know what generation that is? This is a second generation FCI MS2. I did have a first generation, but I traded that with CJ9899, so which most of you guys should already know by now. And then they also, it also came with this, which is uh, the instruct installation I like the information. Fact that it has fire lettering on the side. I know. My last MS, yeah. my last MS2 had fire lettering on one side, and no fire lettering on the other. But as new like age, as did it just wear off? yeah, these are nice full stations. Um, so, let's see. Here's the packet. Or, sorry, the man piece of paper or manual, basically. Here's the installation instructions. Nothing too interesting there, but you could have paused the video if you wanted to see it more. But here's the device itself, or the pull station. So, fairly simple. You get this little lift cover, and you basically... As it suggests, you pull it. Now, as most of you guys, if you guys didn't know already, FCI MS2s are fairly known for their ridiculously stiff lock. So, a good way to reset the MS2 in this case would be to push in this handle right here. Ooh. And you're not supposed to do that, actually. You're actually supposed to manually flip the switch. You're not actually supposed to push it down because it no, it's our alarm. <clears throat> yep there's been some other I fire alarm there's been other fire alarm collectors who have done that but you are not supposed to do that so let me first show you the inside so there's the inside you'll see model F ms2 you'll see the newer gamewell fci logo by honeywell so this is definitely a newer MS2. Switch must be reset manually. FM approved. And you'll yeah, see... <laughs> and you'll see no date code, unfortunately. I mean, the date code would technically be on this little um, stamp right here, but all I see is April 14th. Yeah. Now, you could loosen up, you could loosen up the lock, as SCR Safety would say, with some WD-40 which would be nice, but, um, no. Nice, and, uh, let me set the camera down real quickly. Um, let's set it over here. I'm gonna show you how to install the brake rod. That's my toe. Did you do a video on breaking one? Because I don't think anybody's ever done a video on my breaking one. 
I'm not gonna break this glass rod, but if you want to insert it, you basically insert it like this. You insert it through that pin and that pin, and basically um, it goes in. Let me take off the camera, I apologize. Like that, basically. So you, it goes in like that. And essentially, you, you can just close it like that, and it gets much, um, yeah. Well, that's where you insert it, basically, so. But if I had a second brake rod, I would demonstrate how it exactly breaks. But for now, I'm just going to leave it alone, so. And this is... Like I said, this is a second generation MS2. There is a first generation, which the lettering is much bolder, and it's and the screw terminals on the back are they have um um flathead screwdriver basically um screws. These ones can be used with a flathead or a Phillips screw basically. You know what I mean if you've seen a first generation MS2. But let me pull this again just to demonstrate. Fairly hard to pull too, but it just takes some time to um, loosen up, basically. And then, like I said, if you want to loosen up the lock, you basically just push it in, turn, opens, lift up the cover, flip the switch down, and close. Simple as that. These pull stations are. These pull stations, I'm pretty sure, are discontinued, discontinued, so they're not making these anymore, so. Yep. And. Use the pull station again. Lift handle. And I think there's nothing else to say about this. Other than, would I recommend this pull station? I would. Um. Other than the fact that the lock is really, really, really stiff, and it's, um, I guess that's basically it. Other than that, this is a great pull station if you wanted to pick this up. They are getting to be a little rarer to find. And if you find one new in box, well, you basically hit gold, kind of, but you know what I mean. So, there's everything. Manual paper, screws, brake rod, Come, will come with the key, but I attached it to my keychain in the box. And of course, if you didn't get this new in box, you just get the pull station, basically. But all in all, I guess that's it for my first um, fire alarm review, brought to you by Fire and Alarm 1234. And once again, I was joined by... Hi, Smart Alarm. Yep, and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.